as you can hear, that is the sound of a failing fan. Um, so this is just going to be a quick video showing how I'm going to go about fixing that. This laptop is about 18 months old, so really not that old. Um, it's an Asus VivoBook. I think it's called an S15, but the product code is K5504N, uh, I believe. Let me just double check. Uh, VivoBook K5504VN is the official model number so let's get about getting the case off and seeing what's going on with that fan when it warms up it gets much louder than that and it just kind of sounds like grinding i suppose but either way it's irritating me and the laptop's getting pretty hot so let's have a look so essentially i'm just going to go around and undo all these screws and make note of where they came from because they're most likely going to be differing lengths. One design thing I really hate about this laptop is these slats tend to break if you look here. This is literally just from picking the laptop up like under the weight of itself these break which is a bit shoddy and that, that exposes the speaker which isn't the end of the world but you can buy a replacement panel for about 50 quid but I think I'll just leave it until more of them break if they do, but it's still not very impressive. Anyway, for the screws, you're going to need a T6 Torx, which I've got here, just on one of these. This was about three quid, I think. I think I got it from Audi or Lidl, I'm not sure, but anyway, I'm going to start taking these apart. And just to note, this one, this one, this one and this one are all shorter so that's those all the others are this size so just make note of that the front four are the shorter ones so don't mix them up and the easiest way i've found to get this going is to go to one of the front corners and just pop it open and then you can use something plastic not metal or you'll scratch it to just kind of work your way along and pry it apart. Um, this is where these automotive trim puller tools are really useful because it's quite a softish soft plastic, so it's not going to do any damage. You can get a, a set of them, different shapes and sizes, on like eBay or Amazon pretty cheap. So something like this is ideal for the corners. Um, and then just this one for around the edge so I'll just get that popped off now so starting here and then working along and this is the back panel prized off which is covered in dust on this side and then as you look around here covered in dust on this intake all over the fan blades all around here pretty much everywhere even by this uh, battery plug here. So I'm going to disconnect the battery first. So to do that, you just push this metal clip forward and then this will just prise out. Um, you can see all over the battery, look, it's just covered in dust. Then I'm just going to use a combination of toothbrushes, um, small paint brushes. Uh, this detailing brush here is really good, soft bristles. Uh, and compressed air just to get it all clean and then we'll go from there so I moved it to the floor just so all the dust and gross stuff that comes out can be easily vacuumed off um, vacuumed up so here's how it's looking to be honest I mainly used this the compressed air which got rid of most of it and then on this side which is all clean and nice now i use some automotive panel wipe uh u-pole panel wipe it's just a general degreaser but it's good because it evaporates very quickly so you don't run the risk of shorting anything out not that you could on this panel but that's all nice and clean the majority of the dust was around here and some on the fan blades 
for the fan blades I used a toothbrush and just held it in place and kind of went just w between the uh, the blades pretty easy to be honest the rest of it is pretty clean now so most of it was surface level dust so like I said just any kind of compressed air will work just fine or you can use an electric one um, so I might be able to stop here what I'm going to do is reconnect the battery turn the laptop on and listen for that awful sound um, the bearing feels fine like the fan doesn't feel worn out there's no play and it when you spin it it kind of goes backwards slightly which tells me that the magnets inside are fine uh, I don't feel any grinding or notching or anything like that so sometimes when you get a rattling sound like that it can be like one little piece of debris which is stuck there and can't get out so it just keeps rattling and driving you crazy or it could be the bearing itself but that feels good to me so I'm gonna reconnect this battery terminal here as I said start it up get it hot might do like a performance stress test on it or something just to get this the uh, fan spinning up and we'll take a listen so the laptop is now on and as you can hear we still have an issue that incessant rattling so we're gonna have to dig a bit deeper so um let me just shut it down and disconnect the battery again so with the battery disconnected again we're going to remove the fan entirely so that's going to be cross head here cross head here cross head here so let me just get those undone and um, once you've taken these screws out it takes some finagling but it will come out you do have to pop these cables out the way though because there's like plastic things that hold them in place so i'm just going to do that and then remove the fan be very careful not to bend this because that goes to the CPU and whatnot and you'll restrict so like the cooling efficiency if you start putting dents and stuff in this so just be patient and uh, work your way around it and it will pop loose so the fan is now withdrawn I've not disconnected it I may not need to but it does disconnect just there and this kind of reveals the true extent of the filth that's built up but I suspect the actual bearing within the fan is to blame here either way I'm going to clean all this and then it doesn't look like the fan can be easily disassembled so what I might need to do is replace it it doesn't look like um, one that can be serviced but let me just clean it all up first and now that I've got this far I can actually feel play in the fan itself which I suspect is causing the rattle it's very hard to show on camera especially with one hand but there's quite a bit of up and down motion within the blades yeah I think the bearing is shot so I'm going to have a look at this and see if I can disassemble it. If not, I'll just throw the part number into Amazon and get a new one on order. Which is pretty pathetic for 18 months of use, but what can you do? It's all made in China these days, isn't it? So, so quick update. So if you wanted to replace it, the part number you need is DQ5D519G005. That includes the fan and the assembly. Um, if you turn it over and look at the fan model number, that's just for the fan itself, but the enclosures differ depending on which laptop they're put in. So you can end up buying the wrong part, basically. Well, technically, you could just reuse the same housing, but if you want the fan in the housing, that's the number, the DQ5 number. Um, so this is actually serviceable. Um, you can simply pry it apart with your hands carefully um, and it will just pop straight apart like this and there's a tiny little bit of tape there holding it together which I may not even need to remove 
So that gets us here. And I can feel play in the motor. And I think that's just causing a rattle over time. So I'm going to take this off, which just pulls straight up. But I'm actually going to do that off camera so I don't break anything. But I can feel it. It will just pull straight up, which is pretty handy, actually. I did look online and you cannot source this fan and enclosure in the UK anywhere. Um, the only place I could really find other than America is AsusAccessories.com. And this goes for 30 euros, which I'm not sure what that is. It's probably about 20 four pounds don't know what the delivery is but you'd probably be waiting for a week or so to get it so i'm gonna just fix this one and hope that sorts it out so i'm just gonna pull these fan blades off so this is what you see when you pull the fan off literally just pull it straight up a little spindle there which i've given a bit of a clean and it sits in this housing so based on another YouTube video I've seen um, you can quieten it down by putting a small drop of oil or grease in that hole nothing too thick nothing too thin so I'm going to give that a go this is a bit of a learning experience for me as well I'm not professional I'm just kind of showing you how to disassemble this particular laptop and get to the fan if the fan is making a noise for me at 18 months old it's probably going to do the same for other people with this laptop. It wouldn't surprise me. Or similar laptops in the series. So I've just got some of this. This uh, bike chain loop stuff. But really anything should in theory work. Like motor oil, stuff like that. So I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny drop in there. Spin the fan and by hand. Uh, pull the blades off again and just have a look and feel for any notchiness and things like that um, and then I'm just going to reassemble the whole lot so if it still makes the noise I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and order a new fan because I can't put up with that sound it's really doing my head in good thing is with the fan removed like this it does give you more access to really get like a toothbrush or something under here clean all these little vents out because the dust finds its way everywhere it's pretty crazy so i'm gonna add a tiny bit of that grease in that hole and see how we get on also if you're having trouble with access to tuck these cables back where they should be you can simply remove this chip which slots in there and it's held with one uh, tiny screw this one so that just goes straight in there and then you can lay the chip on top of it once you've took those, tucked those secure, securely out the way. So I'm just going to button the whole thing up now and uh, hope for the best. Again, if it's still rattling, I'm just going to buy a new one. So if nothing else, I guess this video shows you how to replace the fan and clean it. Um, and then it's, it's up to you what you want to do with that information. <laughs> So I'll get it all put back together and I'll just um, finish the video in a second to see if it's actually cured it or not. I literally used the smallest little drop of this in the middle where that centre spindle for the fan goes. Not sure if it's going to do anything but we'll see in a minute. And that appears to be a win. As you can see, fan running quiet as a mouse and no more rattle no sound whatsoever so that appears to have done it i can't tell you exactly what the fix was could have been the drop of oil which i'd imagine it probably was but it could have been cleaning the whole thing but i didn't find any hard pieces of debris that would make that noise um might have just been the, the big clean in general I'm not entirely sure but it doesn't matter which way I hold it I've kind of held it at different orientations off camera it's not rattling so 
saving myself 30 euros there. So hope this helps. I'm just gonna button it all back together. Give the whole laptop a good clean, I might as well. So it looks new again. And there you go. It lives to fight another day. Cheers.